Obama is going to run for president in 2020. Previous President Barack Obama has declared that he will be looking to the White House yet again in 2020, after a gigantic group of legal advisers contracted by Obama have uncovered a lawful escape clause that will enable him to serve more than two terms. It was a considerable measure of work, and I've had this group of more than 40 legal advisers chipping away at this for a long time, said Obama. I realized that they would in the long run have the capacity to figure out how to get me back in, and we have discovered one. I am presently qualified to keep running for a third term, perhaps more on the off chance that I am rechosen, and I can spare this nation from what is a tornado destruction with Trump in office. Obama did not expound on how he could keep running for a third term but to state that it was a convoluted issue that has been affirmed by the best legal advisers on the planet. President Trump has not remarked freely on Obama's designs, but rather the president said that he will beat anybody who keeps running against him in 2020, regardless of its identity. Obama gets federal lawsuit. The total damages sought in the suit equal more than $2 billion. Obama, along with the other defendants, is accused of having violated the civil rights of law enforcement officers. The other crimes that the defendants are accused of include terrorist promotion of gang activity, and aiding and abetting murder. Consider how you'd feel if you were accused of such crimes. Being innocent. You would want to speak against them right? It's telling that each of the defendants has refused to comment on the suit. Deep down, I suspect each of them knows they've created a culture that has led to the death of our police officers, and one of a less effective police presence for everyone else. Instead of acknowledging this, each prefers to blame the police and white people, both, for their crimes and for every crime a black person has committed. They really cared, they would be looking for solutions for crime-ridden inner cities, not laying blame. The former federal prosecutor that brought this suit has commented, the defendants and have publicly incited people to violence with the fiction that police officers and other law enforcement are intentionally and systematically targeting and hunting blacks and other minorities to kill them for no reason other than racism or sport. Micah Johnson, the man who pulled the trigger on the five Dallas police officers, had admitted Black Lives Matter factored into his motivation to commit these murders. Considering what nonsense the defendants have put in Johnson's head, his reasoning is clear. The founders of Black Lives Matter once encouraged people, on the radio, to turn the tide and kill white people and cops to send a message. Farrakhan has made equally incendiary calls for violence and murder. Holder, Sharpton and Obama didn't step back from these statements to try to de-escalate the situation. Instead, they showed support for the Black Lives Matter perspective by having meetings with their leaders. By doing so, they endangered the lives of police officers everywhere. They gave mentally unstable people and radical liberals the feeling that their perspective was correct and that violent action was justified. In my opinion, $2 billion doesn't cut it. I want to see each of these defendants rot in jail for what they did. What do you think of this lawsuit and what result do you want it to have? Share this story on Facebook and let us know because we want to hear your voice.